I thought this 2025 triple 100 watt Anchor laptop battery bank was gonna replace the Anchor Prime that I bought last year, but this is not a good product. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. Now, capacity wise, it's 25,000 milliamp hours or 90 uh, watt hours. This thing has not just one, but two integrated cables. Anchors hit the first cable into the strap thing, and the second is this rechargeable one. It's about two thirds of a meter long. This is a pretty awesome feature from my perspective. This product does come with a large smart display and it's pretty easy to read. It'll show you the wattages in and out, but it doesn't tell you the uh, time remaining. Now the max output of this product is a little weird. This claims to have a triple 100 watt output. Each cable has a maximum of 100 watts and the USB-C cable down here, also 100 watts. But the maximum it could put out at any given time is 165 watts. There's lots of PDOs dedicated to larger devices. And for the PPS charging protocols, they both sit at five amps. This thing's gonna crush most laptops in terms of power. Now the biggest issue I have with this product is actually the voltage stability and accuracy. The unit was very accurate in terms of voltages, but stability was all all over the place. And both of my calculations so that PDO and PPS protocols were just way below average. When it came to draining this pack, yeah, there's some weird stuff as well. This thing went from 100% to 30% and then just quit. The battery was dead, but the screen was wrong. Now, when it came to recharging the pack, it took over two hours. And out of all my 25,000 K milliamp hour battery banks, this one's the slowest in terms of recharging. When it came to heat, uh, I had no issues with it. It's a very average pack in terms of heat. Out of my last test group, this thing was the biggest one. This is almost 600 grams. Now I've got an issue from a usability standpoint. It's too tall. Anchor wants you to use it like this, but it's a topple risk. So now you gotta put it down this way, but there's no feet, so it slides around really easily. And your battery bank just gets really scuffed up. Why? In terms of energy density, given how poor the uh, charging performance is out of all these different cables and ports, this thing's not good. This thing's gonna set you back $120. This thing is pricey. The specs look great on the product. The integrated cable designs is exceptionally cool, but none of this offsets poor charging capabilities for our product. So yeah, I wouldn't get this if I wasn't a reviewer. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery banks are in 2025. If you are planning on getting one of them, use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Don't care which one you get. I just care that we all get the best tech for our accessories. No, accessories for our tech. Thanks for watching.